Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to yet another video. Today we are determining who is the biggest English football club in each English county. Now I've got a map of the counties right there and this can be a bit confusing because different maps will show you there's a different amount of counties in England. But yes, I'm using this map today because it is one of the most commonly referred to and there was a survey to determine who is the biggest football club in each county. So this isn't necessarily my opinion guys, this is a survey that was complete and I'll let you know my feelings on these. Before we get into this video guys, please do make sure to drop a big thumbs up on this one. Let's go for 100 likes. Do subscribe if you haven't already let me know your thoughts down below and let's start at the bottom of the country and work our way up so then starting in the southwest with the county of Cornwall we have Truro City now Cornwall is actually quite a popular county a lot of people go there for holidays in England but not really famous for its football obviously the rugby team Cornish Pirates they're okay but yeah when it comes to football Truro City are the biggest club Truro is actually the capital of Cornwall and uh, it's not a very big place to be honest I think it's got a population of about 25,000. I know that because I've got family down in Truro. I've been to watch these before. I think they play in the seventh tier of English football and uh, it's a bit of a shame to never see any Cornish representatives in the Football League. Next then we'll move on to Devon where the biggest club is Plymouth Argyle. I don't think I'll disagree with this one. Plymouth Argyle are a pretty big club. They've had some experiences in the championship. I tell you what, wouldn't it be great to see a Southwest team in the Premier League one day? It does look like Plymouth Argyle could get promoted to the championship this season. I guess we'll wait and see. But yeah, the Pilgrims are apparently the biggest club in Devon. Next then, moving across the south of the country, we go to Dorset, where the biggest club is AFC Bournemouth. I don't think I'm going to argue with this one. There's not all too much competition down here. Like I say, not too many big household names in the southwest of England. Not too many clubs that have made it to the Premier League. But Bournemouth have, actually. I know they're more to the south than to the southwest. But Bournemouth have had experiences in the Premier League, looking good in the Championship this season as well. Next up, we go across to Hampshire, where the biggest club is Southampton. Now, this is an interesting one because Portsmouth fans will not like this. It was a survey that was done that determined this. I think Southampton have had more years in the top flight. Portsmouth are a very successful club in their own right, but Southampton, I think, do have a better head-to-head -head record against Portsmouth as well. 35 wins to Pompey's 21, but it's an interesting county, isn't it? Next up, we go to Somerset, where the biggest club is Yeovil Town, another big county but not too much football quality there. Yeovil now in the National League. It wasn't that long ago though that they were actually in the Championship. Next up we move across to West Sussex where the biggest football club is Crawley Town. Once again, not too many massive names in this county but Crawley Town are a football league side. They reside in League 2 and they have played in League 1 quite recently as well. Next to them we go to East Sussex where it is Brighton and Hove Albion, a Premier League team. Brighton have obviously been growing really well over the last 10-15 years and yeah, they've been established in the Premier League for quite some time now. Next to them, we go across to Kent, where the biggest club is Gillingham Football Club. Gillingham, obviously, play in League One, but they're not having a very good season this year. I wonder if they can stay in League One. We'll wait and see. They're only one promotion away from the Championship. Imagine that. Next up, we go across to Surrey, where we've got Badshot Lee. They obviously reside in the non-League world. And, um, yeah, I wonder if they could get to the Football League one day. Next, then, we go across to Berkshire, where we've got Reading Football Club of the Championship. They're They've had some time in the Premier League as well and um, yeah, battling for survival this time round in the Championship after having points deductions and such but Reading obviously quite a well known name in the top four divisions and well they usually spend their time in the top two divisions. Next up we go across to Wiltshire where we've got Swindon Town of League 2. Now Swindon have played in uh, the Premier League before actually, they played in the, uh, I think it was the early 90s Swindon Town used to play up there but um, yeah they're a well known household name in the top four divisions of England. Next up we're going to go across to Bristol which I didn't even know is a county but apparently it is and the biggest club is apparently Bristol City once again the Bristol Rovers fans will not like that but if we're going off success I think you will have to say Bristol City have had some good success in their history next up we're going to go to Gloucestershire where the biggest club is Cheltenham Town Cheltenham obviously in League One now not a massive club but they're actually doing quite well for themselves imagine if they were to get to the championship next up we're going to go to Oxfordshire where the biggest club is Oxford United Oxford United are in League One at the time of recording this but they keep knocking on the door of getting into the Championship. There's a couple of counties like this where the city or town they're named after 
they have the biggest club as well. Next up to Buckinghamshire where the biggest club is Wickham Wanderers. Wickham Wanderers are in League One. They have had a spell in the Championship and uh, yeah, I really like Wickham. I think I've got a soft spot for them because of obviously Akin Fenwa. I like Gareth Ainsworth. He's a bit of a character. So yeah, Wickham aren't a bad club as far as I'm concerned. And then next we go to Greater London and this is going to cause some controversy but the biggest club is Arsenal. I wouldn't disagree with that but I think plenty of people would. I think Chelsea have been quite successful over the last 20 years but if you're going over a long period of time, Arsenal are undoubtedly the biggest club in London and I think they've got a massive fan base to go with that as well. Next up we go to Hertfordshire where the biggest club is Watford Football Club, a club that seems to be bouncing between the Premier League and Championship so yeah well established in those top two divisions. Next then to Bedfordshire where it's actually Watford's rivals Luton Town, the Hatters who are doing very well, so close to bouncing to the Premier League. They haven't been in the top flight since the 90s I don't believe and I think they won a cup in the 80s so a pretty well known name Luton Town and obviously they've done really well growing from the National League over the last five, six, seven years. So Luton Town are a team to watch out for as far as I'm concerned. Next up to Cambridgeshire where we've got Peterborough United. Cambridge fans won't like that. When the county's named after your city or town and you're still not the biggest team, something's not right. But Peterborough are the biggest club in Cambridgeshire and yeah, they're in the championship. Doesn't look like they're going to survive this season though. Next up we go to the county of Essex where the biggest club is Colchester United. Colchester have been bouncing between League 1 and League 2 over the last few years, actually in League 2 at the moment, not really having a great season. It'd be nice to see Colchester climb the divisions a bit as they're representing Essex. Next to them, we have Suffolk, where the biggest club is Ipswich Town. Ipswich Town are a pretty successful club. I know they're in League 1 at the moment, but they've won a European Cup back in the 70s. I think they won the English First Division in the early 60s. And uh, yeah, they've spent a lot of their time in the top two divisions, so they're a well-known name across England. Next to them is Norfolk, and it's Ipswich's rivals, Norwich City. Norfolk's quite a big county, but I think this is a bit of a non-contest. Norwich are the biggest club by miles, and Norwich are obviously a decent representatives, always bouncing between the Premier League and Championship. So I suppose you could say they're in the top 25 clubs in terms of they're always in the top five of the Championship or in the Premier League. Next up, we're going to Northamptonshire, where the biggest club is Northampton Town. Northampton obviously residing in League 2. Spent a few years recently bouncing between League 1 and League 2, so we'll wait and see if they can get back into League 1 and maybe get to the Championship soon. Next up we reach Warwickshire where the biggest club is Leamington Football Club. A lot of you might not have heard of them if you're not from around the Midlands and uh, it's a weird one this. Coventry, which is where I'm from, is in the West Midlands but our historic county is Warwickshire. So I'm going to take away any credibility from this video just so we can be on top of something and I'm going to say Coventry are the biggest club in Warwickshire. <laughs> Next up to the West Midlands where it is Aston Villa. Now Birmingham, Wolves and West Brom fans will not be happy with this but I think undeniably Aston Villa are the most successful club in the West Midlands. They've obviously won the European Cup, they've won the top division and they've been in the top flight for a lot of their history as well. They've got a massive Fan base. I think they've got fans all over the country, haven't they? So, yeah, Villa are the biggest club in the West Midlands. Next up, we go to Worcestershire, where they've got Kidderminster Harriers. Now, Kidderminster Harriers all went up in our estimations after their recent FA Cup run and came so close to knocking out West Ham United, but just fell short. Really good to see them representing Worcestershire. Next up, we go to Herefordshire, where the biggest club is Hereford United. It's another example of a county which has got its name from a city or town within it, and Hereford are the biggest club. Next up to Shropshire, where the biggest team is Shrewsbury Town of League One. Shrewsbury have been a regular in League One for quite some time now and it's one of them clubs where you just think if they could achieve one promotion and get into the Championship that'd be brilliant for Shropshire and of course Shrewsbury Town. Next up we go to Leicestershire where it's Leicester City. No surprises there. Leicestershire, biggest club, Leicester City. Leicester City obviously doing brilliant. They've won a Premier League, an FA Cup and that's all in the last five or six years. Then to Derbyshire where we've got Derby County once again. Bit of a non-contest the county of Derbyshire. There's only one big club and that is Derby County. And then we go to Nottinghamshire where it's Nottingham Forest. They've won European Cups and the top flight and that was all in the 70s and 80s. And who knows, they could make a return to the Premier League very soon. Next up we go to Rutland where the biggest club is Oakham United. To be honest, I don't know all too much about Rutland. I think it's a pretty small county and I imagine Oakham United are a pretty small non-league team but fair play to them, they're the biggest club in that county. Then to Lincolnshire where the biggest club is Lincoln City. Lincoln City came so close to getting promoted to the Championship last year, missing out in the playoff final and this year 
been a bit hit and miss, but so long as you're in League One, you're in the third best league in England, and uh, yeah, Lincoln City, easily the biggest club in Lincolnshire. On to Staffordshire, where the biggest club is Stoke City. Stoke City had a good long spell in the Premier League after Tony Pulis guided them there, and uh, since then they've come down to the Championship and they've kind of sat there, so for me they're always going to be in the top two divisions of English football, and yeah, they're quite a household name now, aren't they, Stoke City? Next up we go to Cheshire, where the biggest club is Crew Alexandra. Crew Alexandra is an away day, I've done quite a few times I actually quite like the stadium and their fans are all right so yeah Crew's not a bad little club. Next up to Merseyside, where the biggest club is obviously Liverpool. Obviously, you've got Everton in here, who are a big club, but Liverpool are obviously massive, and at the moment, they're so much better than Everton. Next up, we go to Greater Manchester, where the biggest club is Manchester United. Obviously, this is done on history and not recent years, because if it's done on the pitch, then Man City are definitely a better force than Man United, but over history, Manchester United, much bigger club than Manchester City. Then we go to South Yorkshire, where the survey says the biggest club is Sheffield United. Now, once again, if there's any Sheffield Wednesday fans watching, this wasn't my choice. Obviously, two big clubs in Sheffield, aren't they? Sheffield United and Sheffield Wednesday. In recent years, Sheffield United undoubtedly performing better. They've been in the top flight and doing pretty well in the Championship this year. I wonder if they can get promoted. They've been voted the biggest club in South Yorkshire. Then we go to East Yorkshire, where the biggest club is Hull City. This is less of a contest. Not too many big clubs, so Hull are obviously going to win this one. They've spent some time in the Premier League. They're quite a Championship regular, and they only spent one season in the league one and bounce straight back then we go to West Yorkshire where the biggest club is Leeds United Leeds United are a very big club like I say this will upset other fans of the Yorkshire area but Leeds are huge they've got a big fan base they've got a massive stadium and obviously they're in the Premier League now they're doing really well obviously as a club growing from all those years in the darkness in the Football League I think Leeds do belong in the top flight of English football then we go to North Yorkshire where the biggest club is Middlesbrough once again I don't think this is too much of a contest Middlesbrough are the biggest club in this county Middlesbrough have obviously spent a lot of their time in the top flight or in the championship big stadium big fan base so yeah Middlesbrough decent club as we move back across to the west side we go to Lancashire where the biggest club is Blackburn Rovers. Now, this has been determined on their success. Obviously, Blackburn Rovers have won a Premier League, so even if you're a Preston, Blackpool, Bolton, Wigan fan that are thinking, oh, we're the biggest clubs, then you do have to hand that to Blackburn Rovers. Blackburn were always a Premier League regular when I was growing up as well, so I just have this image of Blackburn as a Premier League team. Obviously, they're in the championship at the moment. They have had the odd season in League One, but I do think Blackburn belong in at least the top two divisions in England. Next up, we're going to Cumbria, where the biggest club is Carlisle United. Big fat county that one club really represented it and Carlisle United obviously in League 2. They've spent some seasons in League 1 and I'm always going to remember Carlisle United for Jimmy Glass saving them on the final day. The goalkeeper scoring to keep Carlisle United in the Football League. Unbelievable scenes. Three counties left. Next up we have Durham where the biggest club is Hartlepool United back in the Football League where they belong. Jeff Stelling's team and yeah they spent some seasons in the National League but they do belong in the Football League. I remember them being in League One not all that long ago and uh, yeah they uh, got promoted in dramatic fashion in that playoff final recently and uh, seem to be doing pretty well now they're back in League Two. Two counties left, Tynan Weir, the biggest team is Newcastle United. Now, yeah, I've got two big clubs here. Sunderland are a big club, I will admit that. But Newcastle are in a different league. Newcastle are massive. They've got a massive fan base. And the potential of that club now, now that they've got new owners is mad. Obviously through January they brought in loads of players which dragged them away from the relegation dogfight. I just think if they could have a really, really good summer where the recruitment is spot on, they could be a real force next season. And like I say, Newcastle belong in the Premier League. They've had the odd season where they've been relegated to the Championship and I've just thought they're too big for that. And then as we reach the top of the country, the last county is Northumberland and the biggest club is Blythe Spartans. Blythe Spartans, obviously, of the non-league world. But Blythe Spartans have had some decent FA Cup runs in their time. I remember them playing Birmingham City. I think they got to the third round. That wasn't all too long ago. And they've got a good fan base. I do think a lot of these northern clubs do have good fan bases. So, yeah, I'm a fan of Blythe Spartans. What a dream it would be to see if they could get to the Football League one day. So then, guys, that wraps up today's video. That took quite a while. Obviously, plenty of counties. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.